days. Let's bring in Dr. Scott Gottlieb for more reaction on this. He's a former FDA commissioner. He's also a CNBC contributor. Uh, doctor, thank you very much for joining us here. This is uh, probably the biggest thematic element trade thesis product type that we've seen in pharmaceuticals in years. Is it going to be as big as folks expect it to be? Well, look, I certainly think it's going to be a large category, and I think it's going to be a, have a big public health impact as well uh, for patients who've been struggling with weight, and now you have a safe and effective way to help reduce weight in conjunction with other things that we know can help patients uh, diet and exercise. I think you're going to see competition increase substantially between the two companies now, largely on two domains. First, on price, you're going to see heavy discounting in this category as both companies compete for market share. You're also going to see competition to demonstrate uh, other benefits of the weight loss that's associated with these drugs. Right now, Novo has data showing cardiovascular benefits, reduction in the risk of heart attack and stroke in patients who've already suffered those events, as well as reduction in the risk from heart failure in patients who are obese and go on these drugs, go on their drug, Wagovi, uh, and lose substantial weight. I think Lilly is going to face competition to undertake some of the same studies. They have them underway, but I think they're going to accelerate the pace of their own research as the companies compete to get other indications on the labels to prove these, these health benefits of these drugs, which is ultimately going to drive reimbursement. FDA is unlikely to allow class claims in this instance, so each company is going to have to demonstrate these benefits independently. But when you just look at the list versus net pricing in this category, we've done some analysis at the American Enterprise Institute, the think tank I work at, and the net prices received by drug makers are 48 to 78 percent lower than the list prices. Um, the heaviest discounting is in the diabetes indication. So Exempic, for example, has a list price of about 900. Um, the actual net price after rebates paid, to the paid by the manufacturers is about 300. With Agovi, the list price is about 1300 The net price is about 1000 based on our estimates. You're going to see those prices come down even more as both of these companies compete. Competition is good. Ultimately, will help improve access for patients. Uh, speaking of access, doctor, one of the big issues right now facing many of these drugs like Ozempic, Wegovi, uh, Munjaro, and now, uh, and now Zepbao, I mean, th this idea that a lot of people are trying to get access to it more demand than supply, and that means that perhaps for some people who really need the drugs for certain things with regard to diabetes are not getting them. Is the competitive factor going to be one that has to be monitored from a supply standpoint as well? And ultimately, do you want to get more of these drugs on the market just because there's just so little of them to go meet the demand right now? Yeah, look, these are two very experienced companies in the manufacturing of biologics. I think that they're ultimately going to get their manufacturing up to a scale that's going to meet the demand. I think what has surprised people uh, is the intense demand for these products, but that's also because I think the profile of what you can achieve from a public health standpoint uh, has also uh, been, there's been a lot of upside surprises from that as well, particularly in the cardiovascular category. I think cardiologists are looking very heavily towards these drugs to help improve the health of their over, overweight patients who suffer from cardiovascular conditions. And that's driving a lot of utilization, I think, wasn't initially anticipated. Novo has challenges now in terms of supplying the entire market. Um, they've had to throttle it. They're getting more manufacturing capacity online. Lilly has invested very heavily, anticipating the demand for their product. Right now, I don't think that they're going to be supply constrained. But if, in fact, you see utilization really pick up for their drug as well, Perhaps down the road, there could be some supply constraints. But I think ultimately these supply issues are going to get sorted out. Um, these drugs are very lucrative for these manufacturers. They know how to manufacture them. And I think they're going to get the, the manufacturing in place to be able to supply this market.